Hey guys, this is Max and welcome to another episode of the story behind the shoot. The inspiration for today's photo set came from a Japanese ad featuring the Japanese Argentinian model Jessica Mishibata. It is an ad uh, for stretch jeans <laughs> and uh, featuring two women fighting each other and of course being incredibly flexible thanks to their jeans. But what I found striking as a photographer was um, the setting. It was a beautiful black and white setting, well lit, kind of focusing on the holes, on the details, on the action that is going on. It's also nice that they chose a blonde and a brunette kind of fighting each other and having that, and creating that very intimate atmosphere. And that kind of sparked the idea to do such a fighter set uh, at some point um, with two models. And I carried that idea with me for quite some time. And I was looking for, on the one hand, of course, two models who would be willing to do that with me. And on the other hand, I, would looking, I was looking for a suitable location. And um, in terms of models, what really helped is that uh, in the course of time, I got to know models who had some martial arts background or experience and are relatively fit or really, really fit. <laughs> and would be willing to do that with me. So um, uh, at one point I just asked um, Freedy um, and uh, one of my models um, during a completely normal portrait session whether she would be interested in joining the set. Uh, and she said yes and also because she has a judo experience so she is a judo fighter ever since she is six years old. And then there's Sarah, a, a blonde uh, who with whom I've shot a couple of sets before and who is just an amazing and wonderful model and it's a lot of fun working with her. And again, I kind of asked her cautiously, what do you think, would that be an idea that you would be interested in? And she was all for it, really positive and also mentioned, I do have some kickboxing experience and I would be more than interested in doing that with you. So uh, the next thing that I needed, of course, was a location. And here at first I um, was considering a suggestion that Jules had brought up. And there was a, a, an old uh, swimming hall in Nuremberg. But then looking at um, the spots that would be available and also taking a closer look at the location, it didn't really feel right. It wasn't perfect. And then just one evening when Jules and I went out for a walk, um, kind of casually scouting locations, we came across that bridge that is completely caged. And when looking at the bridge and, and kind of seeing the perspective and the cage and everything, we were like, okay, this is the location, the perfect setting for such a, such a fighter's photo set. So I had the models and the location and what I then needed, of course, was an appropriate concept. And writing the basic outline of the concept was no problem at all. Of course, um, going for the black and white look, um, settling on Kodak Tri-X as a film, also having some idea in mind of the kinds of cameras that I wanted to look, uh, that I wanted to use and the kind of look that I wanted to create. But then in this particular case, of course, I needed some kind of storyline. I needed some kind of drama in order to make that set interesting. And I decided to do three different rounds and I had to do a lot of research to get <laughs> visually appealing holes and moves in there to get the transitions right so that the girls could move from one hole to the next and that it would kind of make sense. I asked Freedy all sorts of questions about um, holes that she could potentially suggest and I asked her what do you think about this one here, sending her links to YouTube and sending her images and, and she was really supporting me in that whole endeavor and kind of figuring out what might look good and also would make sense from, an, from a martial arts perspective. So. Um, and of course I had to do a lot of research online and eventually I came up with a storyline around um, going through three rounds um, with a lot of back and forth and drama in there and then of course eventually uh, a, a winner of that set. And uh, in order to ensure that the girls have the needed intimacy and that they kind of um, trust each other enough, I wanted to practice this entire storyline in this set. So we met up the day before the actual shoot took place. Uh, 
here at home and then going to a nearby park and went through the entire storyline, kind of practicing each individual hold and I was taking um, photographs and then later that evening arranged it in a storyboard so that the girls could kind of look at it, remember, okay, this was that hold and uh, kind of bringing back the muscle memory and, and how it would work. And then also seeing the transitions and um, kind of the step-by-step -step through that particular photo set. And that really helped um, on site the next day, the next morning when we actually had to shoot it. Um, what wasn't so nice is that it was a little bit cold, unfortunately. It is summer, but nevertheless, uh, we kind of um, had a little bit bad luck on that particular morning and it was rather cloudy and a little bit cold. And since the girls were only, only wearing leggings and sport bras and um, not even really shoes, um, of course, it was getting cold uh, um, rather quickly. So Jules and I had to rush and again Jules really supported me in that particular set, not just filming but oftentimes just putting down the video camera and helping me change films and um, kind of setting up the magazines again for the cameras and that was really wonderful. So in terms of cameras and film choices, I settled on Kodak Triax as a film rated at ISO 400 uh, because it wanted to have a little rough look and I wanted to have those gray tones, the, the fine-tuned gray tones that it brings about. So I decided against a Kodak T-Max or Ilford Delta film for this particular set. And in terms of cameras, I used my own, by that time own, <laughs> Hasselblad 501CM with a 50mm Distagon lens and uh, my Mamiya 645 Pro TL with the 80mm Secker lens for rather more typical portraits that I needed to take occasionally. So um, without further ado, let's jump right in and uh, show you all the different images, the three rounds that we shot and a little bit of the behind the scenes footage. So I hope you enjoy the set.
So I hope you enjoyed the images. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you did, um, please remember to like this video and maybe even share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos, especially of the story behind the shoot series, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.